Hello, uh, people asked how I do some of the stuff, the, 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 the truck stuff, so I thought I'd show a quick demonstration of doing some, some sci-fi nonsense. Uh, the first thing you're going to definitely need to have is um, the ball tools add-ons. So if you go to add-ons and find ball tools, just make sure you have that turned on. Uh, and how I normally do stuff is, let's just start with this. So I'll edit mode, control B to get the bevel tool. Uh, and then I'll probably just, let's, say, let's duplicate that. So let's duplicate that. And then let's select the second one. And now if you press Control and minus key on the numpad, we'll get a quick Boolean operation. And then you can just move that in there until it looks cool. And then I normally bake this down fairly soon. You can keep all this live, but I like to bake them down. Uh, click that. And then I can basically use this again. Another Boolean operation. And then if I grab that, that's interesting. And then let's break that down again. And then let's add another shape. Let's add a cylinder. Let's grab these two things here. Control B again. And let's do the boolean. And then let's shrink that down. And then let's boolean that out of that. Let's make it a bit taller. Put it somewhere that makes a bit more sense. And bake that. And let's reuse that again on this side. And then let's apply that and get rid of these guys. And then another favorite is let's get, let's add a, another cube, shrink that down. Grab that up here. I'm gonna take that away from there, but then let's get this Go here, I've got the modifier, add the array, and then let's, there we go, and then let's use this again over here, let's bake that down. And then let's add another shape. Uh, let's bring in that again. Let's bevel that side. Shrink it down. And then let's add that. If you press Control, so Control minus is to um, take it away. Control plus is to add it. But if you press Shift and Control as well, you you basically do it straight away and bake it. So I'll just Control Shift plus. So I, I don't have to do the modifier. Uh, I don't have to bake the modifier down for that. So that's that. So that's my shape. So let's select all the faces. I'm just going to press U to unwrap. I'm going to do Smart UV. Leave it there. That is that. And then I'm going to export that as an OBJ somewhere. Yeah, I'll call it that. And then we'll open um, Substance. Right, Substance is open, so we've got a file new. And then we navigate to I use an OPJ. There we go. Okay. Wait for to come in. Let's change my viewport to 3D only. Cool. 
cool and then the first we need to do is go to the texture settings here and we need to bake all of our maps uh, we, don't, we don't need id and we don't need thickness this will get all of our occlusion data and our curvature data which substance uses to do edges and stuff like that so there we go so now we can just stick on one of the pre-made ones here we'll go to So that gets us a good start in place and then we can let's add another layer of just white we'll give it a um a black mask and then we'll go to the alphas here and we can add a nice something to it and a bloody nose We'll add something on each side, so this we've got some in. And then looking at a little bit dirt. So we go back to smart materials. We'll add some dirt to it as well. Maybe we reduce some of that. Yeah. And then let's add our normal stuff. So if we go to add this guy here, empty layer, and then I scroll down here, turn off alpha, turn off everything apart from normals, and then you go to the hard surface thing here, and you can basically add any if you drag any of these guys into the normals, you'll get this guy. So if I now paint this on. There you go, so now we save that, let's say export the texture somewhere. Actually let's call it something. Test. Export textures and we'll put them in the same drive that we started on. export those and then go back to our blender scene and go to the shading uh, module here uh, I have node wrangle enabled in here already so if I press shift control T it should bring in test oh, let's call it untitled okay uh, so we need normal base color metallic and roughness that'll do okay, that down. and I'll plug all that in and there we go and that's pretty much what I do a lot of my modeling in it's just Boolean modelers, Boolean modeling. Uh, cool, juice.